What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and we're looking at the list that Sam Chan used to uh, make top four at San Jose Regionals this past weekend. And if you missed the interview, make sure you check that out. The interview talks a lot about the deck. It goes over a ton of stuff on it, over it, and why this deck is so good. I'm going to explain it just a little bit, but make sure you check out the interview the interview for full detail about the deck. It is 40 minutes long, but it's a really, really good interview if you want to learn more about the Zygarde, uh, Zygarde Lander's carving deck, or it's just mainly carving with backup attackers. Alright, so carving, safeguard, makes where EX Pokemon can't hurt you, which is what we're going to focus around. A carbon break has a diamond gift, 20, attach 2 energy from your discard pile to one of your fighting Pokemon. And the plan is, is to keep your carvings alive forever. In Expanded, there's a ton of EX Pokemon, um, which obviously can't hurt carving. Uh, people don't play Hypnotoxic Lasers, they don't play Garboder. And the reason why I say Hypnotoxic Laser is because of Focus Sash. If Focus Sash is attached to a carving, and then like an Evital or a baby Evital or like a Volcanian or something, or a laser hits you, or if they hit you and don't knock you out, the Focus Sash stays on your Pokemon, but Poison or something can knock you out, which is the thing you have to worry about. Um, but like I said, you have to listen to the interview, I promise it's really good. The whole point is to keep carvings alive forever. And uh, to knock out other 90x Pokemon with Landorus, with Lance Judgment, 80 plus 70 to hit crucial numbers, numbers on the Evatol. Or use Zygarde to help beat Trevenant EX. Uh, he talks about how to beat Trevenant with Zygarde by using Cell Storm, which is fantastic. Um, and the way we keep our carvings alive forever, remember, it's only 90x Pokemon. So they're really not going to ever discard your Focus Sash. Because they have to do 110 damage. But what we're going to constantly do... Is use Max Potion to heal all the damage off a of Carbink. And the plan is to have a Carbink Break on the active and on the bench. So when you have a Carbink Break on the active, you can retreat to the bench, Max Potion to the bench, and Diamond Gift to the bench one, and keep cycling this play. You just keep Diamond Gift to the bench while Max Potion it. It only has a one retreat cost, and this plan will go on forever, and you'll eventually deck out your opponent. You're actually not, like, you're probably not going to take all your prize cards. What you're going to happen is deck out your opponent. I know you have Max Potions, Pokemon Sin Lady, AZ, to heal us over and over again. Now, he does talk about Delinquent a lot. Discarding three cards out of your opponent's hand uh, helps you deck him out quicker. Even they, like, even, like, you might be thinking, how does that help them deck out quicker? Well, you're just discarding three cards in their discard pile every single turn, which makes their end worse. Um, so Delinquent can discard three cards out of their hand, make where their uh, ends aren't very useful, and that's going to help you win. There is some disruption cards, like Enhanced Hammer, Zerosig, uh, Karina's going to help us search out fighting Pokemon with Carbinks. You can search out Max Potion. Of course, four Puzzle Time to reuse 82, 82 cards in your discard pile. Um, Hex Maniac, he talks about that a little bit. Magnetic Storm, so that way you, you, uh, fighting, or Pokemon have no resistance. But that's also going to help you with uh, Delinquent because you need a standard card to play and your opponent's not going to put down, put one down if they know you're playing, um, you know, Delinquent. Uh, Focus Ash, of course, for Carbinks and Zygarde and Landers so they do not get knocked out immediately. And that's what the whole deck's based around. It's based on Carbink, keep it alive forever through Focus Ash, Max Potions, uh, Pokemon Stillerity, and AZ, and then using Landers and Zygarde to knock out those 90 x Pokemon like Evital and uh, just other stuff like that, Volcanians as well. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, make sure you check out Sam Chen's interview. It's 40 minutes long, but it's really, really, it's really, really good. It talks a lot about this deck if you want to learn more about the Zygarde Carbink Break deck. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. All right, so when it gets Rob G A G P playing a grass or not a grass, a fighting uh, dark colors, which is an Evil Tall Archaeops deck. So heads, we won the coin flip, which is fantastic. And time to see can this deck take down Evil Tall Archaeops? If you watched the interview, we know how to take down this deck. All right, so we start both Zygarde and Zygarde. So Zy Zygarde will press done, and we have an end. Uh, so they receive Battle Compressor. Dark Patch, Fighting Energy, or Dark Energy. I wish it was the Landorus. We really want Landorus to be powered up on the first turn, but maybe go Landrath, uh, maybe knock out a, an Archaeops or a Gallade if needed, or we'll draw one from Mulligan. There's a Focus Ash from Preston, and there's a Fright Knight. Okay. 
So we're going to Fighting Energy the active and play it in to give us both new hand of six. And let's see, well, what do we find with these six new cards? Max push carving. So put down carving, put down another carving, and just pass on to our opponent's turn. So put down carving, put down carving, and pass. All right, so now our opponent's turn to see what happens. Now we could have put down Magnetic Storm, but I really didn't want him to counter it straight away. Um, but he might not be able to attack us to start. There's a Dark Energy active, okay. And he's going to realize he has to keep, um, he has to keep his 90 X attackers because he sees double carbon. He probably, he probably has like one hex, maybe if that. Uh, no lasers. These lists don't play laser anymore. But can he get a turn one Archeops down? If he does, that is where we're going to be in trouble. We need to use his diamond gift. That's the whole point of the deck. All right, so we see Compressor. Let's see what three cards to discard. So discards a Maxis in and a Glade. All right. Does he get to turn one via Seeker, forward in, and we will get a new hand of six, which is fantastic. Our hand wasn't that great. All right, so we get a new hand of six, and what do we find? A max Potion, Puzzle Time, Karina, in and in. There's a Trainer's Mode. Look at the top cards of their deck. Uh, there's a Lysander. Don't care about that right now. And just pass on to our turn. I'm looking for an energy that's not an energy. Okay. So we'll play an end. Give us a both new hand of six. Are we looking for a strong energy? Or just some kind of energy attachment? Unfortunately, we do not get one. Oh, no. Okay. So. Huh. I get Ult Ball, this card, Center Lighting, the Escape Rope to grab a Shaman to set up. Uh, which seems kind of bad, but I want, I need attached energy for turn. So grab Shaman, put down Carbink, and we'll Shaman set up four new cards. And let's see, can we find an energy or not to get the uh, Cell Storm attack off? And we do find one. So put a Fighter to the active. It will go for a Cell Storm, hit for 60. All right, uh, 40. Next turn, if we find a strong energy, we can take a knockout with the Lands Wrath or an energy and a Magnetic Storm. There's a DC going to the active, okay. Um, I don't care about this. He can knock out a Shaman, whatever. There's a Silent Lab coming down in and in. Now, him putting down a Silent Lab already is great for us. Um, yeah, that's fantastic that he already put it down. So, get a new hand of six. Uh, there's Carving, strong energy, so we can take a knockout this turn. Trainer's Mel. If he doesn't find another Pokemon, we can take a knockout, but he does grab the Computer Search. Alrighty. And what he's going to do is 60 to the active and 60 to Shaman. But do we have VSC care for Center Lady to heal the active? If we Center Lady the active, he can't knock us out immediately next turn. So computer search, just cutting a dark and something else. And let's see, what does he decide to get? Alright, gonna put something in his hand. It has to be another Pokemon, right? So Evital will come down. Okie dokie. And we'll see a pitch box spear doing 60 and 60 to the Shaman. But onto our turn, we do have that strong energy. So we'll strong energy the active. Be a seeker, and I'm, I am, I am going to grab a Pokemon Center Lady just to heal the active. Alright, so heal the active. Focus Sash. And we will land Wrath for the knockout. Alright, so 120 damage. Alright, 120, 100, sorry. We'll take one prize card. There's a Hex Maniac, okay. And let's be opponent to set up the Evil Tall. I'll look to our opponent's turn to see what happens. They're going to draw a card. There's a DC going to the active. And a Lysander bringing up the Shaman. Oh, bringing up the Carbink, which is fine with me. I don't really care about this too much. And I pass on to our turn. All right, so there's a Max Potion. Um, would you can put a Strong Energy the active? Be a Seeker for an end to give us a new hand of six. If we find a uh, Carbink Breaker, we can start attacking. Wait, we need to find a Stadium as well. We do not find a Stadium, but we do find a Focus Sash. So we can Focus Sash the active. Put a carving breakdown, and we can diamond get for 20. But now the silent, oh, we're not basic anymore, so that's fine. We're good. We, we count on silent lab by break, break evolving. Duh. Uh, it's a dark energy active, okay. And what can he do? He can via seeker maybe bring up the Zygarde, uh, 20, 40, 60, 800, 120, which is not enough for a knockout. We'll get the Karina for a max potion. Dark Eye coming down. Don't care about that too much. Dark Patch onto the Dark Eye. Okay. Uh, Dark Eye could be a little annoying because they can Night Spear uh, hitting the bench. 
There's a Sycamore. Go to discard his hand. Draw 70 cards. Now, how many V Seekers has he played? Two V Seekers has been played. Another Evatol EX coming down. Okay. Fighting Free Will going to the Evatol. Okay. Dark Patch onto the Dark Rai. No, the Evatol. I think putting the Dark Rai will be better because you can start hitting the bench Pokemon for 30. Um, but he can't hurt us this turn, so Evolve, not gonna do anything. I like that little barrier head, that was pretty cool. Alright, so we find a fighting energy. Um I'm gonna focus Ash for Carbink. Karina for another carbink break. And an enhanced timber? Sure, we'll at least get the hand timber the discard policy is pretty cool. We'll grab the enhanced timber. Uh hand timber the active DCE. Put down Carbink Break and a victory. There you go. My opponent can stay the game. And let's look at their deck real quick. Do they have an answer or not? I will press W. We cannot see the deck, unfortunately. And there we go. We do take down the Emotol deck. As you see, they weren't going to get an Archaeops down uh, or Icarus or a Glade. And you can see why this deck is a good matchup for you. They can't deal with a Carbink Break. You can, count their sound, you can counter their sound labs with carving break because you're not a basic anymore, which is fantastic. They don't play lasers. They can't poison you. If he were, if he were to license the Zygarde EX, he really couldn't do too much because he did have the Focus Sash on it. So he couldn't one-shot either, which is fantastic. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second, and hopefully it's another victory. All right, so putting his Anthony Lee played a Water, Psychic, and a Colorist deck. So go ahead and take all these. We won the coin flip, which is fantastic. So, uh, yes, I will let it go first. On to our turn. What do we get? We get a mulligan, so press done. We get a new hand of seven. I wonder what he's playing, though. Uh, it's not Greninja 100% because he does play the Psychic. It could be Sizotoad Bats. All right, so press done. Signs with Garboder, maybe. We start Zygarde, Fighting Energy, and that's pretty much it right now. So let's see, what does our opponent have here? Okay, waiting for them to start. Show me the money. So two Pokemon coming down. Okay. A Squirtle and a Snorlax. So we'll put a Fighting Energy in the active, and we'll pass on to our opponent's turn. It's a strong turn there. So we're going to draw a card. What is, what is going on here? Uh... Hypno, Snorlax, Blastoise? So, Dive Ball, go to search deck for a water Pokemon. A Blastoise, okay. Alright, I mean, if we find a strong energy, we can just knock out a Squirtle one hit, which is fine. <clears throat> so, why did you on Blastoise, okay? I mean, a Blastoise on a Snorlax, sorry. And a pass on to our turn, we get a Carping. So put out Carbink and we'll go for Magnetostorm and Land Pulse for 40 damage. Alright, so in our opponent's turn, they're gonna draw a card. We do have Pokemon Center Lady, so they do play Hypno something. We could get out of that with Center Lady, which is fantastic. But do they have a rare candy Blastoise? They do have one. So they're gonna rare candy into Blastoise, which gives us the deluge ability. Let let attach as many water energies for uh, from their hand as they want during their turn. A uh, delinquent. So discard Carving Brig, uh, Pokemon Steel Lady, and Via Seeker. Yep, that that just, we just got delinquented. We just got delinquented. We're supposed to delinquent them, and they delinquent us. All right. Uh, but what else do they have? Okay, Water Gen of Snorlax. They can't use toss a turn, or yes, toss a turn right now because they're not asleep. There's a compressor, which would be perfect because we would have battle compressor. I guess I should have saved the VS Seeker. I'll put down Carbink Break. We'll Lance Pulse for 20. I mean, I guess this is one of the downsides of the deck. You could just be in really bad shape like I am right now. So they're going to draw a card. At least we're doing damage right now, so that's good, right? I mean, if we top deck a strong energy, we could knock out his blast so he's doing 80. So Leonard gonna put two water juice in his hand. I mean, I'm I'm not too scared about Snorlax. He's weak to fighting. So Leonard gonna get 
<clears throat> he's looking at four water energies. Holy cow. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He could do 100 tame with Blastoise if he wants to go that route. I still can't believe we were delinquented. Like, that's crazy. If we were, I mean, I wasn't sure what to keep, which is why I discarded the VS Seeker. I was like, oh, Puzzle Time is probably better to keep, but I guess it was better to keep the VS Seeker. I'm not 100% sure. I think keeping the Puzzle Time was probably the better play for sure. So, three water is usually active. Four water is usually active. And a Hydro Puff for 110, 100 damage, sorry. Okay, so we top deck a Sycamore. Thank the Lord. So a Compressor uh, with Discard. Um, let's see. And Sycamore, uh, Paternal Lady and Karina. All right, then we'll Sycamore, Discard our hand, draw seven new cards. And can we find a Finding Drawer or not to least Cell Storm? And, oh, no. <clears throat> okay. Um... We're gonna focus Sash to Carving Break, putting a fighting energy on it. Escape rope up to the Carving Break. And we will Diamond Gift. I guess we should at least discard some energies, but I didn't. Like I was more focused on having like more resources in our discard pile. Uh, if we needed the VS Seeker. So 40 to the active. If we find a strong energy, we can uh power gym for the knockout. Yeah. Um he can go for a Swallow for 50. Toss the turn doesn't really matter too much. He doesn't have anybody to put in sleep right now. Okay. So pass on to our turn. They have no Water Gs. I'm going to put down a Carbink. I'm going to put down my Magnetostorm and delinquent with them down to zero. My turn to delinquent with them down to zero. And that's one of the cool things with our, with delinquent. Uh, you can put them down to zero, which happens a lot. If you listen to Sam's interview, he does talk about Delink with him a lot of times. So this card's a super eye, which is very important. And we're going to Diamond Gift again. Alrighty. So he, we did discard a Hypno, so he is playing a Hypno-based version. Alright, so we're going to draw a card. Let's see. There's another squirt to hit the field and a pass oh, to our turn. We are going to go for an AZ. Pick up the Zygarde. Put it back down, and we will Diamond Gift for another 40 damage. Not knock on the active, but we deal heal that. We did heal that Zygarde, which is fantastic. So put a Fighter Gym in the Zygarde. We'll go to opponent's turn, okay. And when do they top deck something? Now, Blastoise will knock us out. It'll do 100 damage. 100, wait, no, he doesn't knock us out because of the Focus Sash. You gotta remember that Focus Sash. It will save us. Alrighty, so what can my opponent do here? There's a Water Gym to that Blastoise. A pass to our turn. We get a Shaman. I'm not playing the Shaman. I'm just Diamond Gifted for the knockout. Uh, going down to five prize cards. What do we find? We find a Zerosic. Don't care about that. We need to find an, a strong energy. If we find, I mean, it doesn't matter really. <clears throat> Once our opponents are going to draw a card, okay. The downside is he is going to discard our Focus Sash. He's going to do 110, knocking out for Focus Sash. All right, so on our turn, we get a Lysander. Alright, so put a Focus Sash. Oh, and a victory! There we go, opponent can see the game. I was wondering what was going to happen, but Focus Sash did save us. I mean, I think I was going to actually... I don't know what I was going to do, but there's a Zygarde carving deck. I know this game wasn't very good, but I know the first game was amazing, showing off against Eovatol, our Boater, or Eovatol, uh, a Maxi's deck, which is fantastic. But guys, hope we enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty. And make sure you check out Sam's interview. It's a really, really good interview. And you're going to learn a lot about this deck. But thanks for watching. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.